So Paul Sangman is at odds with the city council again on the issue of homelessness, the issue of loitering. Last Friday, right before the holiday starts, Sangman unleashes his new plan to say we should ban sleeping on benches and blocking the public right of way, the pedestrian right of way, between 7 a.m. and 10 a.m. when people start to get out. Again, the pushback is intense, just like a year ago. He was voted down 19 to 1 on a similar proposal. Sangman says people shouldn't walk down the street or the sidewalk and feel like they're stepping into somebody's bedroom. But the pushback is that housing is expensive. People can't afford housing. Where else are they going to go? And we have too many laws already against poverty and homelessness. Well, here's the deal. Uh, we have to decide what we're going to do with transitional housing, rehab, job training. In other words, we have to provide subsidies for people who need help. But we have to tell the people, if they can, that they have to do something. If they can't get a job in the market, they have to get a job in community service. Uh, maybe read to somebody in a nursing home, pick up the trash, do something in order to get the money. There's got to be a social contract. When you work at something, your self-esteem goes up, your productivity as a human being improves, and there has to be that kind of duality and contract. Now, if somebody is incapable of that, then we have to take steps to provide services, mental health, counseling, whatever the case may be. But you can't just sit there and lie on the bench for five hours without any activity. It's not good for anybody. So we have to get serious. Are we going to have transitional housing? I know architect Kenton Peters has his own plan for some building space downtown. We have to do something other than nothing because we want to feel guilty as a white progressive if we demand something of the individual. And for the conservative who says, put them on a bus, that doesn't solve it either. It's time for adults to sit down and have a conversation about what to do. I have faith in our adult community here. They just have to get out of their own way and make it happen. My Two Cents, My Two Minutes are brought to you by Edge Construction and Capital Consultants. Bill McCutcheon, a lobbyist who worked for Tommy, who knows how to get things done downtown. We can talk about this and more on the radio at 8 tomorrow on 92.1 FM, The Mike, The Mitch Hank Show. Talk to you then.